and welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with a review and um, swatches of the new e.l.f. bronzer palette and the new e.l.f. contour palette. So these retail for $6 a piece and I just wanted to kind of give you guys a look-see inside. But today I'm going to show you these two things. So, we'll start with the contour palette. Um, so, as I mentioned in my recent haul, um, the mirror on this did crack um, when it fell. So, I guess it's good for travel. Um, it's good because it has this nice big mirror and the little pans, but I guess you do have to be a little more careful with it um, than I was expecting. So, checking myself out in it. Um, it's a very good mirror. Um, even cracked, it's a good mirror. But anyway, I'm lying to you guys, sorry. Um, so, <clears throat> this comes with, oh, and also another awareness of the packaging. Um, I don't know, Emily Noel 83 did a review and hers also fell out. So, um, one of my pans popped out. So, is the packaging is not ideal, but um, the one thing I do like about it is that the pans pop out. I'm not going to pop them out right now. Um, but the pans pop out. So, what I thought I was going to do is I, I was going to take a blush that I like because they have the blush palettes are just like this with the pop outs. So what I was going to do is I was going to take my blush palette and I was going to put a blush, a highlight, and a contour um, and a bronzer that I liked a lot all in one palette to travel with. I thought that would be really helpful. So let me just kind of show you guys what we have here. All right. So we have two highlight shades. See the best way to do this. Okay, so have two highlight shades. We have a creamy white shade that has some shimmer in it. And I'll just swatch it for you. My finger. So we have a creamy shade um, that has a little bit of shimmer. Then we have a yellowy, a more yellow shade, kind of like a banana powder, um, but maybe a little bit darker. Then we have the bronzer shade. This is matte. And then we have the contouring shade, which is that d deepest shade right there. Now, let me swatch these for you guys. They don't give the greatest hand swatches. Um, I tried to swatch some on my hand. and They just, they don't pick up that great on the hand. Um, so there they are right there. I definitely don't think that this is going to be the best for like deeper skin tones for pale girls like me. Um, you'll be just fine. I actually have the contour on today out on today um, and I so I have the lightest shade under my eyes and then I have the contour um, but I didn't wear the other two um, the yellow is a little too yellow for me um, and but I do like the bronzer shade as well but again I think this is gonna be better serving for those lighter skin tones maybe hopefully they'll come out with one for darker skin tones I don't think they have yet I think they just have the one but I'm sure that hopefully they'll be coming out with one for darker skin tones once they see if this one does well or not. I think for the six bucks, especially if you have my skin tone, that you will really enjoy this and it's definitely worth the six dollars if you don't want to pay a high price tag for a contour palette. So, the same thing kind of goes for the e.l.f. bronzer palette. This retails for six dollars also. The packaging is exactly the same. With this one, my latch is broken. Um, or it doesn't want to snap for me for some reason like I can't I can't get it to close so I don't know what's up with this packaging but it does have the nice mirror um, and it also comes with four shades that pop out just like the one in the contour palette let me just kind of do a comparison for you guys if I can so here's the shades in the bronzer palette and here's the shades in the contour palette I don't even know if you guys can tell um, but the shades in here they there's no overlap in the shades um, probably the hot the um, bronzer shade in this and the lightest um, bronzer shade in the bronzing palette are the most similar um, but there are no exact dupes and these have three matte shades and one like shimmery um, shade and it has like little tiny specks of glitter um, but I didn't experience that they came off on the skin like that so let me swatch these for you guys as well again the hand swatches not so good 
So there's kind of what those look like. And I will swatch these for you guys. And these pick up slightly better in terms of swatching. But again, they pick up much nicer on the skin with a brush than they do on the hand. Um, also, thing to note about this one at, for the bronzer palette, I don't necessarily think that there's enough differentiation in the colors. Like, can you guys see, like, even in the camera you can tell, like, I just don't think there's enough color differentiation, differentiation, I can't talk, to justify the need for four of these. Now, would I pay $6 for one of these? Um, in like a bigger pan probably and I'll probably use them all but they are really similar so I don't necessarily know you know if you would need all of those and like I mentioned before I'm probably just gonna pick my favorite out pop it in with the contour palette um, and be good to go for travel so overall um, I like these products I think they're worth the six dollar price tag that they have especially the contour palette um, for my lighter skin friends um, but maybe not so much for the darker um, gals out there. Um, the bronzer palette is is good. It's not great if you like kind of a different variety of things. You know, it might be nice to have. But um, so that's kind of my review and swatches on these. Um, no smells or anything like that. Um, let me know if I forgot to mention anything um, in terms of price or any other questions that you have that I didn't mention. Let me know that in the comment box below. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.